It's like, it's gotta be the right spot. 90% of this river doesn't make sense. This whole section is new. It looks like a car went in or something went in. Dude, what do you see right there? It's got a number that they tried to scratch off. Today we're in Maryland searching for Carol Renee Carter. She went missing August 25th, 2020. Last seen from Acoqueque, Maryland. She was last seen driving a silver 2014 Buick Regal. And the car is also missing. And uh, she did suffer from epileptic seizures, high blood pressure. So I think her health is definitely uh, a factor that we're thinking about here that it very well could be an accident. With the amount of water, the Potomac River out here that stretches, it's very suspect that she could have gone in the water somehow. Anytime the vehicle is missing, that's the first place we tend to look. I'm not sure if anybody else has searched for her, but there's so much water out here, there's a very good chance that she could have had an accident, gone in the water. So we're gonna be out here checking on the sonar boat. I was exploring with Nug. What are you thinking about this case today? Man, a lot of big water. Yeah. I mean, we're in the capital, right near the capital. There's lots of boat ramps. I mean, this, man, I'll tell you what, like this story, story is another one of those Vanished without a trace, left to go shopping. Yeah. Vanished. Got a giant river like eight minutes from where she lived. I mean, it's a great place to start. So right here, the Marshall Hall boat launch is where we're starting. I believe this is the closest boat ramp to her her uh, house in Acoqueque. <coughs> if you guys don't want to miss out on all of our searches and you want to help support us, definitely please consider subscribing to the channel. Also check out Exploring with Nug. But we're about to put the boat in and let's see what we can find today. We just put the boat in very shallow uh, until you got here in the channel. We're like a couple hundred feet away from the edge. And uh, I mean, out here it's eight feet, but right there it was like two feet. It's a little clear right here, but all that growth, lots of growth to the edge. And this, of course, is tide controlled area. The tide's going down right now, so that's something we're having to deal more and more with. Uh, we just got done searching this other marina around here and it's just all too shallow. The tide's going down too and it's four feet at the boat ramp. So it's gonna get down to two feet. Uh, that's not good, so we're gonna get out of here. And there's like, the problem is the depth in this area. It's starting to make me rethink this whole uh, search. And maybe the ponds do make more sense to check. Mm. There's like one spot the opposite direction I want to check but then there's like a bunch of spots downtown that have boat ramps this is gonna be one of those searches it's like it's got to be the right spot 90% of this river doesn't make sense but like that one spot we found yesterday there's a cluster of cars yeah because it, it didn't matter where the tide was at it was it was 20 feet right off the road so we just got to find those spots the chances that our missing persons in those spots is gonna be even even more rare. So we're gonna zip around, try to find those locations. Uh, they're not always easy to find though, because the map may say five feet and it's 20 feet or the opposite, or you just have to literally, it takes time. A lot of these takes time. They're not just always easy. I kind of think we head there and then hit all those boat ramps. Might as well. You see a little bit of the, little bit of the Washington. Oh, well, you're going, you're going in it. <laughs> all right, we made it up here to Fort Washington. This is pretty crazy. Very, very rich history, obviously. We're in the Washington area. There's the lighthouse right there, fort. I can't imagine what this would have been like back in its heyday, you know? Oh, yeah. Well, yeah, I mean, I don't know if it's, I forget how, I mean, I, I, I've been watching, I watched a movie once that had, had something to do with George Washington. I mean, that yeah. before, where I they mean, fight people across the I, I don't know my history that well. Maybe y'all can leave a comment, but I'm sure there were battles fought here. It was like the British coming in from I bet, the river. And I bet you could lay a metal detector down anywhere here and find something. Yeah. Really cool. Yeah. You definitely go to jail, so don't do that. But um, we're scanning it right here because there, I don't know if it's publicly accessible, but there are vehicles over there. So who knows? Maybe somebody could, you technically could drive a car up to this area. And that looks like a tire. Yeah. There's tires. Maybe we'll find an old vehicle before it was really fenced off. I don't know. It looks like people may have been fishing. 
They're literally putting fences up around the lighthouse. Why are they doing that? All right, we just zipped up all the way past the airport. We're pretty close uh, to downtown, the, the monument and the uh, the capital. But we're up at Gravelly, Gravelly boat ramp. Checking this spot, there's a bunch of junk all in the water. And there's some tires. How deep? Five, three, I mean, it's just deep enough, but I think it's low tide still. Um, so we very well could find something here. We're scanning this to see. I mean, it's, uh, it took a while to get up here. We probably should have driven and then put in, but it was a fun ride. Um, More fun on the way back. Yeah, it'll be fun on the way back, but it's already like five o'clock, so probably gonna scan this one and then start heading back. And then tomorrow we'll be scanning ponds. There's like maybe one more boat ramp tomorrow. At some point, we might hit it. So we're pretty much in the city, have not found really anything car-wise, but check it out. There's like a rental bike right there on the edge. I guess somebody dumped down there. It almost looked like a, a dirt bike for a second, but uh, yeah, they have those bikes all over the city, so. I'd almost say we should grab it, but I think they got a GPS truck. Yeah, they do. Somebody will get it. Oh, yeah. Ooh, we just went over a big old tree. Big old tree stuck right in here. But it's 17 feet here. I haven't seen anything car wise. It's, it's like almost kind of expected, but because it's like on so many boats, if there is a car, it uh. The car would probably be seen by somebody. What look out here? It's an electric scooter. That's an, oh, that's an, oh, there's a scooter right there. I'm gonna, I'm gonna wait for this. I've always, I've, I've, I've always wanted one. Do have you, you? Do you think it's the rentals? Uh, I think they have GPS on that, man. It's in the, it's in the water. Maybe they, maybe the GPS is broken. You know, fighters keepers, is that how it works? <laughs> uh, I'm not really sure. Yeah. All right, let's keep on going. We're pretty much just gonna go up to this bridge right here and go on the other side and then go down. Because it looks like no guardrail on that. And uh, after that, we're gonna have to head back because it's getting too late. Giant weight coming. Yeah, should be fun. Man, these big boats, it's not a lot of ferries. It's nothing compared to being in New York in the Hudson, but uh <laughs> now we can manage these ones. Yeah, these are these are still big enough where it's like, eh, the water gets right up to the edge. I mean you probably can't tell on camera too much, but like most of these people out here are just having fun going fast, you know, nobody's really scanning slow. We're going three miles. <laughs> two, three miles an hour. Trying to just scan these edges over here. I mean, there's, there's scooters sitting all over the place. Check this out, there's a huge old pile of logs under, under that tunnel we just went through. So for the first day we covered a lot of the Potomac River starting at the closest boat ramp near her house and covering a lot of the obvious locations up the Potomac all past Alexandria and then downtown towards Washington all around the uh, bridges and touristy kind of areas there. There were a couple spots that stood out that a car may have hit but nothing that popped off on the sonar. Her son did put out a post on Instagram stating that she was supposedly shopping in Southern Maryland in La Plata, Waldorf area, possibly shopping off Duke Street near the Harris Teeter in Alexandria. So we kind of switched gears and decided to use the remote control sonar boat to cover some ponds and keep searching. So her family is very worried about her. They believe she went shopping somewhere around this area. Uh, there's a lot of different shopping areas, but there's also a lot of different ponds as you can see. This is the main one right near the mall. And uh, this is where we're starting our search, if it's deep enough. Some of these are we going to be able to quickly roll out, like at least this side, it looks like it is too shallow. But over there on a different side, it may be more deep. And uh, cars have gone in several of these ponds um, before. So it's happened before, it could happen again. So we're going to try to scan everything with our sonar RC boat 
and see what we can find. We're pretty much targeting areas where there is a road and you could drive in. This looks extremely shallow. Jump in. Let's drive over to that parking lot. I mean, we could put the boat in there and check a lot of this anyways. But yeah. I mean, right here, it, it would, uh, yeah, it all makes sense, but like, for the, an accident. There's a sliver of road right there, but I think there's a guardrail. So really, that's what we're looking at this parking lot. Is that opening right there? Was it? Uh, I think it was early, or she was in the morning, I think, early morning. So people were around. She went in the body of water. It had to be like. Yeah. I think it was. I mean, it was early, or or it might have been night, but they didn't notice till morning. Wow. Right off the bat, I mean. I think it's too shallow. I mean that, and another thing is like the fence has long been here for a while, and it ain't, it ain't down. Yeah. This was kind of the It'd pole the only I was spot. thinking. There's a pole right in the center. That pole ain't bent. No. And I mean, you can literally see the ground, so you would see a car. I think we can roll this one out. There's not really any other access to this thing. I would chalk that one up as you're, you're on point. This was just the biggest, most obvious, like, oh, there's a big body of water. There's not really any, it's the biggest pond. All right, right next to uh, some more stores right here. We're trying to find ponds, like, these have fences. These are obviously have been here. You can look at street, Google Street View and see uh see that these are still here but it looked like there was a section up here that had been replaced newer possibly right here this whole section is new even the fence part is new it kind of makes me think somebody drove in here i don't know if it's deep enough but this is there's something out there there's like a, a a great it looks pretty shallow. Well, um, definitely something went through there because that whole section's replaced, and the fence has been replaced. This metal fence, so it looks like a car went in or something went in. I don't know if it's deep enough, so I'm guessing it was an accident and... You wanna check it? Yeah, I say we do. Five, six feet. You gonna go around and do one more pass right down the middle? I can't go in the middle, there's a big gr grate. Oh, well. I mean, it'd be right here. I don't know what the path I just took. Is it there's a grate or something around the middle? There's like a fence in the middle, like fish or something. I don't know, maybe there's a pipe. So here's another little pond over here by the Best Buy. But I mean, we're looking at like these these posts, these boards to see uh, if a car came through like that other one, not here. They're all too new. And it's way too shallow. I can see pretty much the bottom out here. So this one is on the way towards her house. This one makes more sense because there is holes that she could have made it through without busting through the fence and making a scene, you know? I think it's deep enough. They usually dig these out for like the foundation. I think this is kind of a newer neighborhood back here. Yeah, new homes. So I don't know what it was. Well, let's see if it actually was here two years ago before we even bother. Yeah, it was here. It's possible. It looks very snaky. I don't, it'd have to be like perfectly like through right here. It's not much of a hole, but I mean, if you swerved right, I'm sure that sign wasn't right there. So that spot was clear, definitely too shallow. We're heading down to the next spot on the way towards our house. There's like a smaller shopping mall there, a couple of ponds. They're not exactly next to the uh, parking lot, though, but we'll check them out. All right, next one up, closer towards our house. 
Mano Keek Village Center. This would be crazy. Like she'd have to be parked here maybe, and then maybe go unconscious or something and hit the gas. It is like a hill and drops off into the water. I guess we'll see right now. Almost looks like two tire know, trucks I mean, looks... right here. These are fresh, but did somebody drive down here? Three point nine. All right, so right at five feet at the most, you said. Yep. Way Looks clear, there. so we'll keep going. We try to be smart and go around shopping places, stuff like that, or house. But at a certain point, it's just kind of like covering everything. So this one's cleared. Keep on going. All right, so we're in her neighborhood. The only there's only two little spots that I think could be potential. Like here's a community center and the road goes straight here into this basically pond it's obviously a fence here it's just storm water we've seen people go in before so this is the closest body of water in her neighborhood i mean there are these yellow cones she had to have driven over the grass right there uh -huh. you know we always check closest bodies of water makes the most sense if it's even deep enough nothing hmm? nothing not a damn thing all right well i guess we'll head back towards the shopping centers now i mean yeah. you're looking for because you know, chance of arson with it unless it was something you know um a lady from the neighborhood she went missing about three years ago oh, she, yeah she disappeared Did you in know the car. her carol I didn't know her well. I knew her. Well. Yes, yeah, it's, it's been around a, been about three years now. Yeah, we've been. Uh, so we came to town. Essentially, it's a, it's a, it has sonar on it. Okay. And we've yeah. been just hopping all the ponds that okay. make sense. Hey. Anywhere where a car accident could have been. Yeah, my, my son was a friend of her, uh, her son's. Oh really? Yeah. Either in the water, people go missing in the water or the woods when the car's gone. Yeah, it's you know, hard to hide a car unless it's you know buried somewhere. Yes. All right. I just checked this whole area and did not see any vehicles. Right at five feet. So, be kind of pushing it here. Yeah. And keep on moving. There's a couple parks I want to check. Alright, so this is a local park. Um, kind of, I guess, in the La Plata area which is a potential area that she could have gone shopping. And uh, it's a big lake here, semi-big. It's not extremely deep yet though. Six, seven feet. I wouldn't be surprised if there's a car right here. It's kind of tucked away in this park. I mean, but I mean, it's a, there's a gate. Yeah, it looks pretty maintained. There's a boat ramp on the other side. I mean, you can drive all the way around it. But I doubt anybody's ever ran sonar. All right, so we just searched that little uh, park and we just got a tip from a local that there is a car in this pond back here. I think it's private property, but he said he used to ride dirt bikes back there. And this is older than the case that we're looking for, but I'm still gonna fly my drone real quick just because we're right near the area. I'm gonna see if I can see it with my drone. So let's check it out. I I don't see anything that stands out as a car. See the water? Oh yeah, I'm right above it. I'm sure there is one, but it's not it's just like not clear enough. Well, we tried. All right, we're probably at our last spot of the day because we don't have a ton of time. This is actually a lake where someone else recently, uh, semi-recently went in. They were texting and driving and drove off. So I know it's uh, possible for someone to go in because they've already been in. I don't know if they actually scanned it or if the rest of it's deep enough. Definitely looks a little shallow. Dude. 
bigger. All right, man. Um, so we, so we're about to put this boat in to scan. I'm looking down here at the water. What do you see right there? Anything else laying out there? Uh, yeah. Is it real? Thirty-eight undercover SPL. It's got a number that they tried to scratch off. Charter 2000 Shelton Con. It's not loaded. But it's not that old, man. Yeah, uh, might have to call the police on that one. Well, let's scan this first. It's not even that far. I mean, it was right here in the shallows, man. Oh no! What's the depth? Two feet? Okay, well, it's looking not, not deep enough. Not good. Pretty gross. All right, let's give these officers a call, see what they have to say about our find. I'm wondering if you could send an officer to my location. Okay, what's going on? Uh, well, essentially we're part of an organization that searches for missing people. We was out here scanning lakes, and while we was doing that, we found a firearm um, that was thrown into the water. It was about six inches deep. We just saw it laying there, so we wanted to let you guys know. How you doing? What's it going? Man? Well, we're just finding stuff for you. Absolutely, man. Oh, you could do it. Where'd you guys find it at? Right here, there's a drainage pipe. Yeah, it's a drainage six pipe. Six inches of water just laying there. Okay. You know if it's loaded or you didn't find it? Looks unloaded. I don't know if there's one in like in the pipe so to speak absolutely but all the other yeah. ones are empty. did you guys have this thing in there no 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 I was about to say, what no the hell? we got i got like a remote control kayak we do uh searching and scanning so gotcha that's what's up man yeah i'm sure you guys probably get calls like this a lot though yeah i don't know if you guys are familiar with the area at all no no it's not. that's probably our worst neighborhood right there so i'm not surprised yeah i was picking up on the <laughs> yeah. line a little bit i was like man I don't want to be around here too much. Yeah, not at all. Which one are you guys found it? Or once I say that you found uh, it? I found it, yeah. You got your idea on you? Yep. How long y'all been out here? A couple days. Just checking ponds, checking the river. It was like what a, you guys look for? It's a missing woman from like three years ago. That's what you're looking in for? In a vehicle, yeah. Carol Renee Carter. So you guys just travel all around the states? Yeah, this trip we went all the way up to New York to see if we could find a car that was dumped in by the mob 50 years ago that supposedly had a uh, body in the trunk. And we found the car, we didn't find any remains. But uh, That's crazy y'all actually found the car. That yeah. was, I mean, yeah. I'm mean, I mean <laughs> like, that's wild. And it was funny, there's no car left. Like all the metal was gone. There's just like the axles and the tires and some like dashboard. And the, the, the steering wheel. The steering found wheel was that. The, what helped us yeah. identify it. But did you touch it with your bare hands at all or no? I did, yeah, I okay. did. I didn't have any. And which uh, ditch did you find it in? Uh, you said which? Oh, it's like right here. Okay. There's like a little drainage pipe. They didn't really throw it too far, so. Yeah, absolutely. Uh, <laughs> just sitting there in six inches. Um, it kind of looks like they tried to scratch the numbers on the side, but they just gave up. Nice with the chamber freaking open. Yeah. It's like trying to. Yeah, you can feel it moving. It's just all rusty. Yeah, they definitely tried to. Right, I'll be right back. All right. Uh, Apparently, this is the worst part of town, yeah. Huh? Apparently, it's the worst part. The very worst. Very high crime area, so. Oh, God.
You got the, the twice pipe action? Not, not too surprised. Chamber just uh, freewheel, but it won't freaking pop open still. Oh, really? Yeah. Whatever. All right, so I just have to do exclusionary DNA. So, what we do with the guns here, I don't know if you guys ever found a gun. Or, oh, yeah, yeah, a lot. Right, right. I'm sure you yeah, guys yeah. have, right? But so, what we do here is we just send it in to get tested for DNA, and they also fire the gun, right? Mm -hmm. So, I'm just going to take your exclusionary DNA. It's okay. just saying that you found it. And if your okay. DNA comes back on the gun since you touched it, it won't. He touched it too. Crime. So, I don't know. That. Not in. <laughs> we, he might, well, it's I was, not a problem. Yeah, yeah. I just have to take your DNA so that it says, because like I said, I mean, this is our highest crime rate in Charles yeah, County yeah. is right here. I get it. Right. Yeah. yeah, we both touched it. Are you guys going after this or what? Uh, I think we're gonna go get something to eat and probably yeah. start heading south a little bit more. Yeah. Well, unless you know a really good spot where people dump cars in the water. And this is your path right here. It's just at the bottom. Yeah, it was like right where that pipe is. Yeah. Where that can is right there, pretty much. That changed everything. everything. Yes. Thank you. All right, man. Well, y'all are good to go with us. Cool. You know, cool. So. Appreciate it. Appreciate it, man. Hope oh, it yeah. solves the crime. Yeah. I mean, like I said, probably. So. <laughs> <laughs> All right, y'all have a good. Right. Yeah. You too. All right, so officers just came, and uh, we didn't find out if it was stolen. Maybe we'll find that out later. But they're they're really cool, and um, I mean they got your DNA, dude. So love you. you'll definitely be here. Yeah, that, that was a first. I don't know if I got that on. Actually, I actually got that on camera. Yeah. Yeah. So um, it's very weird. That way, I don't know since why. we touched it, I mean we weren't plan. I you know probably, probably should use gloves, but we weren't thinking really that much. I don't I don't know why, but that makes me nervous. <laughs> Getting your mouth swabbed. Yeah, I was like, oh man. You get, you come up with like all these illegal drugs and. And, like, and oh, weird dude, you, thing. You've been <laughs> everywhere. You're an Interpol. What? <laughs> no, but uh, no, we appreciate them doing their job and coming. Unfortunately, we were you know we were not able. We were here to find Carol. We didn't find any cars. Today. No, no cars. But maybe we did just find a smoking gun. We might know. have solved the crime. I mean, that you know that counts too. I, I don't. I'm not mad about that. I we covered a lot of ponds, and uh, I'll try to maybe make a list or. Make a well, list. I want to have a better way to keep track so other people can search and not search in the same spots. But there's a lot of water around here. Nah, we'll figure it out. We'll figure it out. Yeah, um, you know, we're going to keep looking. We're, we'll, we will definitely be back continuing the search. I really believe she's around here somewhere. Hmm? Um, I'm thinking water, if it's an accident. Woods is a possibility. There's a lot of both in this area. But we will be back. We appreciate you guys watching. Thanks for liking, subscribing, supporting us. We're on the road to search for more missing people. We'll see you on the next one.